Hi there, Nakasani. Nice to see that you've written an essay for us. Let's take a look at what you have done. This is the international marketing essay, so let's see what you wrote here. While others may see global marketing, marketing as an invasion or intrusion in the said countries, others are of the opinion that the experience is necessary in an economical way of education, sharing of thoughts, language, and culture. In this essay, I'm going to examine the two sides of the argument and also give my opinion. Okay, um, a couple of comments here. On the whole, it's, you know, correct, um, but there are a couple of issues. So the first one is, is I really wanted to show, I really wanted you to show me that you can rephrase the task a little bit. Um, you basically use the same vocabulary, but you just change the order of words a little bit. And I would like to see different vocabulary words. I mean, it's like pretty much everything is the same. You just kind of plug them in into different orders like invasion, intrusion, economical way of education, thoughts, language, culture. Just change it up a little bit more, okay? Um, and then, uh, as far as your thesis statement is concerned, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of this. When they tell you discuss both sides and give your opinion, give your opinion. Don't tell them that you're going to tell them your opinion. They've asked for it. And so the best place to give the opinion is starting in that introductory paragraph. Um, if you're not sure why, if you look at the band descriptors for task achievement in the band seven, it says presents a clear position throughout the essay. Throughout means from the beginning to the end. So um, how can you make your position clear in the beginning? By including it in your introduction. Okay, so um, let's move on. On the one hand, on the one hand, it is true that there is some invasion and invasion, careful here, involved when marketing on a global scale. The selling strategies bring in policies pertaining to the products being sold. The manufacturer detects the prices and how to use the said product. As an example, let us take the case of an electric cooker. Other countries rarely use electricity. They prefer other forms of energy, such as solar or gas, as they are cheaper. By accepting to purchase the electric cooker, one is forced to turn to electricity, which has other limitations, especially power failure. Therefore, consumers end up buying products with additional costs. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I was kind of wondering when, when you were going to make your central idea clear. Uh, let's see, you said there was some invasion, and I'm assuming you meant intrusion here. Um, and so you wrote a couple of sentences that, for me, didn't really help your essay at all. Like, I don't understand the purpose of these two sentences at all. Okay, um, I just, I just don't. Then you start talking about the electric cooker and how they, but again, I'm confused. I'm not really sure about this this paragraph at all, like, how have you shown me that it's international marketing that has created this problem? So, I gotta be honest that as far as this paragraph is concerned and its development and its um, progression of ideas, I'm not really sure that you have uh, either answered the question or shown an understanding of the question. So, um, it's also a little short, I should say, um, but before I kind of give you like a more holistic response. Let me finish the rest of the essay and then we'll just, we'll turn back to this paragraph if necessary. Okay. So on the other hand, some people believe international marketing is a needed form, mm, is a needed and economical form of education as well as what is going on here? I don't know why this is ING. Some people believe that international marketing is a needed form of education or a needed and economical form of education as well as spreads ideas because international marketing spreads ideas language and culture hence people's knowledge is broadened I don't think hence belongs here okay it's the wrong thinker so people's knowledge is broadened particularly by the use of certain items which are manufactured outside the country a good example are sanitary pads that are produced in selected countries. Women from less developed countries can only use these as donations. On the pack are instructions on use and disposal, which are usually written in the native language and English. 
As a result, it becomes easy to translate. Also, they learn of a cleaner way of disposing their menstrual blood, thereby learning a different culture and civilization. Okay. Um, okay. Fine. Let's keep moving on. In my opinion, international marketing is very important as it changes the way people live. Moreover, the educational level of the natives is uplifted and they get to learn of other people's cultures. However, on the negative side, people end up resorting to expensive lifestyles, especially in third world countries. In conclusion, as products get marketed internationally, there certainly is some invasion and intrusion in the countries in question, whereas economies are being boosted and the natives learn a lot. This includes careful sharing ideas, language, and different culture. Okay. Um, so my biggest problem here with this essay is I'm not sure how well you've really touched upon international marketing as a topic. Um, I felt like you got kind of close to it here, but still I didn't sense an understanding of the topic um, and a development of how international marketing helps or does not help. Um, so um, it's problematic for me in that regard. Um, the topic development, the task achievement area of this essay um, definitely leaves me with some questions and <clears throat> I don't feel like I, I, like I said, I just have some questions um, about how well you've understood the topic and how well you've developed it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is um, I don't entirely agree with your paragraphing. Uh, let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. This is not really a paragraph. I mean, this should have belong, belonged elsewhere. Um, it, you shouldn't have made a paragraph of, of just your opinion in two sentences. This probably should have gone here, and you could have um, included this here, this first sentence. It should have gone up in your introduction, actually. That's where that really should have belonged. Um, so we typically recommend a four paragraph structure that's why i don't entirely agree with this you didn't need a paragraph just for your just your introduction there were other places to include that you should have incorporated it here okay and also as i said before in your introduction um there are some good elements of your writing i mean like i said it looks like you have ideas which is great but I absolutely want to see what you write on different topics. This particular topic I know is challenging um, and it's partially challenging because a lot of people misinterpret what is meant by international marketing. Um, it's nothing that a quick search on Google can't help uh, for the particular topic, but in general, I want you to know that um, signing up for the online course gives you tons of help on how to develop your um, how to develop your essay and how to deal with top uh, task response. So um, definitely do look into that as an option for your IELTS preparation. I think it will really, really help you. Um, and then, you know, there's lots of lessons on structure and how to um, properly organize your answer. Okay. So that's the kind of thing that examiners want to see. All right. So good job with this. I'm very happy that you wrote for us and um, I hope to see more of your essays in the future. Good luck.